Import the DFF using the Heroes plugin by clicking File, Import, Locate the file. Remove Auto Smooth and instead choose Explicit Normals to import original smoothing. Hide the chassis underscore VLO. We won't need this for now. Remove the three props from the bed. Remove the boot and its damaged variant. Add an edit poly modifier to chassis and select the fence by material ID. Press F3 and you will notice shaded polygons in the interior. We only want to remove the fencing. So go into element selection mode, press 5, and hold Alt while holding left mouse button to deselect any interior parts. Press Delete. Remove the two black triangles atop the frame. Press F4 for wireframe display. Perform an edge selection at the two ends of the box adjacent to the rear of the cab. Click Bridge. Do the same with the larger box part of the frame. Go into border selection mode and cap the two holes in the pipes nearby. Alternatively, select and detach the bottom of the pipes back to the pipe as a new element. Move them into the correct position using vertex snap and flip their normals. Deselect the polygons. Select all vertices with Ctrl A and weld at a threshold of 0.001 to rebind the mesh. Deselect the vertices. Select the polygons that you filled earlier. Add an unwrap UVW modifier. The polygon closest to the tail uses the vehicle generic texture. The part of the texture right above the undercarriage works fine. Do a planar projection for this polygon. The polygon closest to the cab uses the Walton's own texture. A planar projection will do fine for this one too. Back to the chassis underscore VLO. Isolate the model and head into element selection mode and delete the fence. Add an unwrap UVW modifier and move the UV of the floor onto the black tile nearby. You can now export to DFF. After exporting to DFF, we will need to modify the collision because the shadow mesh has some of the fence details in it. Hide the VLO for better visibility. Use collision IO and tick. Skip bounding. Open the original Walton.dff as it has an embedded collision. Select the shadow mesh and add an edit poly modifier. Press 5 for element selection and select the fence and the floorboard. Press delete. Select the collision mesh frames two triangles and pull them down to roughly same height as the shadow mesh. Delete every sphere on the bed except for the lower right one. Set its radius to 0.32. Move it down so that just the tip of the sphere intersects the bottom of the collision mesh. Head into Tools menu. Array. Click Preview. Set to move 2.4 in Y axis and a count of 4. Select the spheres and access array again. Set the same values, except this time move minus 2.1 in X. You can see their object name is Rear Bumper. Select all rows except for the back row of spheres and press M and pick one of the default spheres material and apply that to your selection. That way our rear bumper won't break if something hits our side or center. In Collision I.O., pick your collision and shadow meshes.
and type in Walton. Select all of your collision objects and click export. Save as call.call. .call. Create a box. Center it to scene. The size doesn't matter. Add a UVW map modifier and edit poly modifier. Apply a standard material to your box. Open DFFIO. In Export DFF Rollout, click Select Collision. Locate the collision you just exported. Export DFF and name it Callcar. Open Callcar.dff in RW Analyze. Scroll down to the bottom and extract the bottom blue extension. Name it Call without any file extensions. Open your custom Walton DFF. Import the call file that you extracted just before. Save. Now that the bed of the truck is gone, we are left with just the frame of the chassis. You could adapt this to a light semi by adding a hitch allowing for trailers, or convert it into a family pickup, or just a fun old truck to offer it in.